Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity tonight uh, to hear what a, a couple churches are doing with their VBS in this time of COVID-19 and social distancing and the challenges that provides. Father, one thing we know for sure in this time of uncertainty is that your promises are true, they're everlasting, and your word is being lifted up at this time um, and being just shared in amazing ways. Uh, we thank you for this opportunity to hear how VBS can still happen in spite of, of uh, not being able to gather at the church. And we ask for your blessing upon our time together as we listen and share. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for this, uh, this opportunity. And, uh, you say in your word, wherever two or more of us are gathered, you are there in your, their midst. And so we thank you that you're right here in this Zoom room with us. We pray in the powerful name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Okay, so introductions. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the, what I see on the screen because I don't know uh, what everybody's uh, name is. Now, some of you I know well. And some of you I'm meeting tonight for the first time on this Zoom call. So, Kathy. And don't forget to unmute yourself when I call your name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kathy Springler, and I am from Trinity Lutheran in Boone, Iowa. And um, the chairman of Parish Ed and BBS this year, and an elementary teacher at the Lutheran School. Thanks, Kathy. Uh, Jill. Yeah, hi, I'm Jill Bontrager and I'm in Wall Lake, Iowa. We attend Peace Lutheran Church here in Wall Lake. And I'm the superintendent, so kind of in charge of Bible, Bible school also. Thomas. Hi, um, Thomas Wilson, Director of Family Life at St. Paul in Ames, Iowa. And um, so I just help out a lot with VBS. Um, I'm technically the assistant coordinator for, for our VBS. Okay, thanks, Thomas. Uh, I forget, it's Jay Weir, but you, <laughs> Joy. Joy, yeah, I'm Joy Weir, and we attend Trinity Lutheran Church in Algona, Iowa. And I don't really think we have a director. There's like two or three of us that it just kind of happens every year, and that's where we're at this year, again, too. Joy, do you help out with midweek too? Yes. Yep. We okay. you came and did an in service. Right. So I, I met year, you Rhonda. that night. That's what I thought. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, Laura. Hi, friends. Um, I am Laura Nelson from Trinity Lutheran Church in Litchfield Park, Arizona. Um, so if you're familiar with the Phoenix area, I'm over in the West Valley. And. You might hear Laura call me Miss Moore. <laughs> Laura, Laura started life out in Manila, Iowa, and she went to the Lutheran school in Denison. And Laura still calls me Miss Moore. You couldn't call me Rhonda, you know. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Crouch. Um, I'm the children's minister at Fishers and Men Lutheran in Sugarland, Texas. And a little side note, Kelly's husband was a member of the church I worked at in Texas, so. 
Um, and they both went through the DCE program. At, we're very uh, thankful for you because through <laughs> you, the Holy Spirit worked and changed that man. So well, uh, he, <laughs> <laughs> there were, there were a lot of people, uh, the Lord was using in his, in Richard's life. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> I told him, thank you for marrying such a great woman. So <laughs> Deanne. I'm Deanne McHugh. I am a uh, director of now women's ministry at Gloria Day Lutheran Church in Urbandale, Iowa. Thanks, Deanne. Kristen? Hi, um, I'm Kristen and I go to St. Paul in Ankeny, Iowa. So, and I'm on the, just the board of ed um, at the church, so. Cassidy? I'm Ann Carstens. I am in Jefferson, Iowa at Trinity Lutheran Church, and I am on the Board of Ed. Thanks for just forgiving me for calling you what name's on, <laughs> on your screen. That's okay. By the, by the way, if you guys don't know, you can go up to the right-hand corner of your picture, and there's three dots. And if you look down, you can rename, and you can type your name. Like, I can change mine to Rhonda Moore. So if you want to change the name to your real name, it maybe just, that'd be better. It, it it's <laughs> helpful. It's helpful for me because you're going to see how I my short term memory is horrible on names. Um, Steph. Hey, I'm Steph Schmeke. I'm from Denison, Iowa, our Savior Lutheran Church. Yeah. When did you graduate, Laura? So I graduated in 2000. So okay. it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 98er, so we <laughs> could have crossed paths at some point. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, and then I'm the chairperson of BBS here, so. Okay, I will do that. All right, bye. Deb? Well, I'm the out-of-stater. I'm from Nebraska. I'm secretary to Manuel Lutheran and Osmond, and my husband is, son, uh, is, is the school board president in charge of BBS and all everything and he asked me to watch for him because he couldn't be here. Chelsea. Hi, I am Chelsea Adams. I um, am at Mount Olive Lutheran in Des Moines and I am our kindergarten teacher and also on our teach team which handles Sunday school, midweek, VBS and anything else related to teaching members of the congregation. Okay, thanks, Chelsea. Um, iPhone, what is, you, please share your name. Uh, my name is Amber Giese. I am at St. Paul Lutheran in Ankeny, Iowa, and um, on the same board with Kristen, so we are on the board of ed together. Great. Jill? I can unmute for you or uh, you can unmute yourself, Jill. There you go. Hi, I'm Jill Alliger. I'm from um, Holy Trinity in Farnville, Iowa, and I'm the BBS coordinator. Welcome, Jill. Emily? Emily Teresa, it says on the screen. Oh, I think she was just signing in because I think it said her audio is con connecting. Emily, can you hear us? It says it again. So uh, raise your hand if you are uh, a lay person serving in this role at your church, which is, uh, Chelsea, you're not a lay person, <laughs> but you're not paid to do VBA. You're not a, you're not, that's not part of your call there, right? Right. That's yeah. what was kind of my And point. <laughs> Kathy too, that's probably not part of your call, but but a majority of the people in the room are, are lay people who love VBS and, wanna, and love children and, and want to help with that. So uh, we're glad you're all here. You know, the purpose of the meeting is to have the opportunity to hear how some churches are still having VBS. Um, and so I wanted to provide this opportunity for us to hear. Um, and uh, so we have Kelly is using uh, Concordia Publishing House's material. 
and Laura's using groups material, those tend to be the two um, curriculums that get used in Iowa District West. So Kelly, I'm gonna turn it over to you. All right. And cool, then if everybody you. would remember to mute. Mm -hmm. um, so first I'll just say we went back and forth a lot um, as most people did of whether we were gonna try and have it in person or cancel it or just do something else. Um, and so we decided to do a virtual VBS, um, which means that what will happen is it's technically the same dates. So ours will be July 6th through 9th because we're doing a four day instead of a five. Um, we decided on that early on, mostly for our volunteers, but then kind of as things went on, we heard a lot of good feedback about four days as opposed to five. Um, so what we're doing is we are putting together student packs. So we're ordering everything that we normally would. Um, you know, minus snacks and things that, like that. It's too quiet. Um, I can't still, hear it unless I put my ear right up to it. We're still ordering like craft okay. kits and um, like the little collectibles that come on the keychain. CPH does the same thing as group. They're not called Bible Buddies. They're called something else. I can't remember. Um, so we're still ordering all of those things. And we're going to go ahead and put those together um, beforehand. So I have a bunch of boxes at my house already that I get to work on. Um, so basically every student will get a pack of everything that they're going to need for the week. Um, for the four days of EBS. Um, and they'll also still get like a drawstring bag with the logo on it, with the Rainforest Explorers logo on it. So they still get something. Um, Cause most years we either do a t-shirt or we do, you know, like a take home CD, um, which they'll still get the take home music. Cause that's the way that we're gonna um, kind of do the music, but I'll get to that later. Um, so the week before VBS, um, the families will come and they'll pick up their student packs and then they'll take them home. Um, and for snacks specifically, the CPH is actually making like a PDF of snack cards. So you get like a printout of everything you need for each day, which is really cool. Um, and I will say that CPH has done a really good job of doing a lot of the legwork for me. Um, I don't feel like I'm having to do a lot of, I mean, I am still having to do extra, obviously. Um, but they're putting together videos and things like that. Um, and I'll share my screen in a minute so you can see it. Um, but what we're going to do is everyone will pick up their uh, materials July 1st um, and then take them home so that they're ready on the 6th for the first day of virtual VBS. Um, so then we are going to post on the 6th at 9 a.m. just like we would on a regular VBS day. We're going to post an opening video um, which is kind of like our opening skit. We get to our Bible point. We introduce whatever like the buddy is for the day, all of that. Um, and then the family actually opens a document after they watch the video. Um, so they open a document that has links to the video for Bible adventures. It has a puppet, a puppet show video link, um, extra details on snack, um, just all the details that they're going to need for the day. Um, and so they will do that online, but then they'll also use whatever is in the student pack for the day. Um, and so we'll do that each of the four days. Um, we're also going to leave up that information for the month probably, um, which we've gotten permission from CPH to do. Um, but we'll leave that up so that if, if families don't want to do it every single day of that week, they can do it once a week for the rest of July. They can do it however they want to do it and totally at their own pace, which is really nice. Um, with music, though, they are encouraging people to still do the like music download cards, which I know group also has probably like a download card um, that's similar. Um, instead of sending home CDs, this way they can download up to like three devices or something. So we are still purchasing those for the families and we're not going to ask for a cost on that since we're not really going to be in the building. It's not really like a four hour day of care. It's, you know, here's all your materials and go ahead. Um, but that is kind of the way that we're getting not in trouble with copyright things. <laughs> so they'll, they'll watch the videos and, and do all the things, but they'll just download the music cards. That way they can have access to all the music videos and, and stuff like that. Um, I will show you, we sent home a postcard, which is we found the, this to be the best way, honestly, to get a lot more people um, the information. Um, so I have one right here. It's really cute, but I'll share my screen so you can see it. Um, but we sent home a postcard um, I just made this on Canva. If you've never used canva.com before, it's an awesome, awesome tool. Um, you can just make up the postcard um, PDF. And one of the guys in our congregation actually works for a print company. So we had him print them. So this is the front, obviously it's just the logo, really cute, the dates. Um, but right here, we went ahead and broke down um, 
step-by-step -step of how families are gonna register. Um, so they'll just go to our website, you register by the 15th. Obviously that date is very flexible. Um, they're gonna take, pick up their take-home packs, which we're sending an email about with more information of like where to come at the building so that we don't have a bunch of people in the building. Um, so that, that detail is sent in a different email. Um, and then that they're encouraged to join the daily live sessions, which is when we post that opening video. And then they have access to all that information on the website. Um, and then the share the love of Jesus with family and friends was a very um, optimistic thing as we were kind of getting ready for this. We didn't know if people were going to be able to like host a backyard VBS with their friends. So we didn't want to just say, and invite your friends over because we didn't want to like go against any of the rules. So, um, but now we're kind of encouraging people as they ask more questions um, that yeah, at least in Texas, I know the rules are different everywhere, but Texas is starting to open it open up a lot more. Um, and so now we're encouraging people, you know, if they have friends in the neighborhood who want to register as well, they totally can. And we'll have extra student materials. Um, we went ahead and ordered for 100 kind of know it, our normal numbers are around 140 150 um, we've gotten up to almost 180 before. Um, but knowing that people can't actually drop their kids off, we ordered for 100 and we'll, we'll order for more if we have to. Um, but we're just encouraging people now to, you know, invite neighborhood friends over and if they um, just want more student packs and they just want to host it, but the, you know, the other family doesn't want to register, that's totally fine. Um, basically, we will make this work however we can for, for families. So um, that is one of the ways that we're encouraging people to, to um, share more is to just invite people to their house, but we can't officially say that. So that's why step five is there. Um, then I'll just show you really quickly how we're gonna do um, uh, registration. Um, we're doing everything through our website. Obviously we can't do any paper um, registration, but everything is going through our website. And so if you, if your church uses um, CCB, which is Church Community Builder. Um, I made a form on there. It was really easy. I mean, you can do a Google form. You can really do it however you want. I just wanted to show you really quickly um, how we are doing that. So let's see. Right here. So this is our church website. Um, can you all see that? Okay, great. Um, this is our church website. Um, the logo got cut off a little bit, but basically this is just a whole page on VBS like you would normally do. Um, but when you click the register here, it takes you to our CCB page and it's just a really quick form. Um, all of this is a lot of information, obviously, because people have a lot of questions as how this is going to work. Um, so we just kind of broke down everything as like, here's, you know, here's how this works. Log onto the website every day. Um, we're providing you packets and materials. Um, pickup is July 1st from 4 to 7, and then what will the day look like? So we just explained, you know, at 9 at 9 a.m. everything will be live for the day, but do it at your own pace. So we, um, I know CPH also has its own VBS uh, registration uh, website, which is really great. Um, it's called VBS Mate, um, which is really easy to use, but it has a lot more information um, because that would be if we were actually meeting in person, which we're not. So I went ahead and made my own because I needed less information. I didn't need, you know, emergency contact or alternate pickups, none of that. So we're asking for parent information, primary contact. Um, for example, um, some of the kids that want to participate um, live out of either out of town or out of state, but their grandparents go to our church. So the grandparents are registering them and putting themselves as their primary contact so that we can get the materials to them and then they can get it to their grandkids whenever. So that's why primary contact is on there. Um, a cell phone number and okay to text. Um, I know my husband uses the Remind app a lot to just kind of blanket text parents. Um, so that's why we put the okay to text in case things change with the pickup date or whatever, or people need you know a different kind of drop off or whatever. It's just nice to be able to know if you can text them. So um, we put that on there, the number of children in the family and then the children's names and ages. Um, so that's how we're going to make sure we get enough student packs. Um, if they have a church home, because this is a great time to find out if people have a church home and if they want to know more about yours. Um, and then if they're seeking uh, more information about Fishers of Men. Um, and then how they found out about virtual VBS. Um, 
just because I would love to know more if, if the postcards are working, if Facebook is working, whatever. Um, I just want to know um, how they found out about it. So um, that's just what our form looks like. It's really, really simple. Um, and then on there, I also put if you have any questions or concerns to send me an email. And so a few people have said we're not going to be in town that week. Can we pick up and have sent me just a, a personal email on my work email. Um, just kind of asking those extra questions and we will obviously make things work however we have to people have asked about shipping as well um and i have i just don't want to go into the post office i am six and a half months pregnant and i really don't want to break the post office so they can definitely get it shipped if they have to but i also have a really good team of people that are willing to take those student packs to a house if, if needed um so if somebody just wants to do like a porch drop off um, several of us have, have been uh, willing to do that, or if they just want to pick up from the church a different day, we'll make that work too. Um, so that's a lot of information, and I'm sure I'm missing things. So if you want to ask questions about what I'm missing, that's, that's yeah, fine too. Yeah, I, I think this would be a good time um, mm -hmm. since it's fresh, what you just shared, Kelly. Um, mm -hmm. By the way, uh, where Audrey lives, they've got bad weather and she's having to get herself and her husband in the bathroom to take cover. Yeah, uh, it blew through here about two hours ago and it okay. was Okay, um, so they've got tornado nasty. warnings. I told her not to even worry about the meeting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So anyway, um, mm -hmm. I just wanted to let you guys know what happened to Audrey. Uh, questions for Kelly. Just raise your hand and um, Laura. Well, actually more of a comment. I love that tidbit about asking if it's okay to text. I think that that is just a politeness and that's just a great detail. I'm gonna see if I still have some wiggle room for that even on ours um, because you, you kind of assume it's okay or at least I assume it's okay, but gosh, what a nicety to ask. Is yeah. it okay if I text you? So that's great. Thank you for mentioning that, Kelly. Yeah. So. So Kelly, have have you had people register already? Yeah, we have about 25 kids so far. Okay. Um, and that's missing a lot of our church families who just have told me, I just haven't got around to it. Because yeah. we're still, I think we have like four days left of like virtual school and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, we have lots of kids who are like graduated from preschool, all that. So um, people definitely still have time and we'll be very generous with the deadline. The deadline was just so if we had 100 by June 1st and I had to order more things, I just didn't want to be um, getting things overnight shipped. Um, so sure, sure. We'll, we'll be really, really. Um, it's it's just that. like you're when having your planning for your regular VBS, your supplies, yeah. you need time to get right. your supplies. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. Kathy. Do you charge a fee for people to come and is that on your registration form? So most years we do, this year we are not. Um, so I talked, I have, a, I have a great children's ministry board who are always very honest. I have some parents and some not parents who are on the board. Um, and all of us felt like since we weren't actually in the building that we couldn't, that we just, did, we just didn't want to charge this year. We wanted to just kind of offer this more of like a, we just want you to learn about Jesus this summer. Um, and so it, it will be a cost, but nothing more than we would have done because we're not, you know, we're not ordering any decorations or, um, you know, a lot of things we do get donated. So um, normally like in March, when we open up March, April, when we open up registration, we also have a huge donation tree of things that people can donate. Um, and so we're missing that, but at the same time, we're not having nearly the cost that we would if we were actually in the building. So we went back and forth with that. Um, we felt that we just weren't going to charge this year and it would just more, be more of a gift um, of the supplies and of the stuff really to, to just learn about Jesus this summer. So it was definitely a conversation, but we're not going to charge this year. Most years we do, we charge 10 to $15 most years, um, but this year we won't. I, I just want to add on to that, Kelly. I think that's great that you guys are able to do that. Not every congregation may be able to afford to do that. Um, and it depends on the number uh, of, of people. You may, um, there are so many variables right now. Um, 
congregations budgets might be taxed because members can't give like they could depending on how COVID-19 has affected your congregation. Um, and then the other thing is, depending on how COVID-19 has affected people's finances in their home. And so what I might suggest for those of you that uh, we used to say it was a, a suggested donation that would help cover costs and never kept track of who paid and who didn't. Um, that way nobody has to, you know, nobody has to feel guilt for saying, gosh, we can't afford it or, or they won't participate because they don't really feel like their finances are bad enough, but yet they don't want to spend the money. I mean, you guys all know the various thoughts that go through people's minds when it comes to paying for something when money's tight. So I think, and, and Laura will have something to say about that too, because I listen to what you guys are, what you guys are doing too. Um, Deanne, did you want to say anything about costs? Because you've, you've had some keen insight on that before too. Yeah, you know, we've got a whole nation of parents that are coming off of having to teach their children at home. And I think, um, uh, Kelly, that might be why you're seeing lower numbers right now. You still have school going on and how many parents are like, oh, I have to teach this too. Um, so, you know, that might be, that might play into some of our numbers this summer with VBS across the board. Um, those of you that will do VBS later, though, I think um, by July, <laughs> parents will be saying, please, what do you have? <laughs> I need something. Um, well, and, and I, Deanne, I think Kelly, their VBS isn't until July, July 6th, right? right. So, yeah. like she said, their school's still in session, so registrations aren't, yeah. Yeah, right. but good we point. definitely. Yeah, we definitely thought about that of like, do we even do it? Because parents are gonna be like, I'm not teaching one more thing. They're just gonna be outside all summer. <laughs> but we figured we would err on the side of giving them something to do. Um, and it's since they're, it's a lot of video based, we felt very confident that, that we, we could at least do that. So we definitely thought about that. Um, Jill. Yeah. So the, I haven't looked at the CPH website yet. So they already have a lot of the video and all the links. So you're mostly just kind of doing the opening, mm -hmm. that opening segment. That's really the only part you have to do hands-on. Well, yeah, it is very, it's really nice. Um, if you, let me see if I can pull it up. Um, let's see, the bonus materials. So if you go to cph.org slash family something. So it's the digital um, VBS bonus materials. Um, this is something really great that they're doing because uh, it takes a lot of the pressure off of me. I will be honest. Um, they've done a lot of the work. Um, so we're still having to record the um, the opening and closing, like you said. Um, but every day they'll click on, see it says, here it says, welcome to digital VBS. So they'll click on it each day. So they'll watch that opening video. We'll direct them here. And then this is day one of oh, God Rescues Noah. Um, and so they've already made some of the videos and then um, the other ones are going to be available as uh, they're actually partnering with some of like the bigger churches that are doing their curriculum. Um, so some of the bigger churches are recording the videos then sending them to CPH. CPH is posting them here. So it's basically an entire document of uh, the, like video downloads. So they've already recorded like a storytelling video. Um, you, they've also told us you're free to record your own. Um, but this is so great um, because these videos are already recorded, already ready to go. Um, and then as you can see, like it, it will direct you to like the snack, the craft, the coloring page. Um, they can download the coloring page. We're going to go ahead and do that in the, um, we're going to download all these things and put them in the student packs. Um, and then we'll do the closing uh, videos. So you're right. They've done a lot of the work um, for us, which is really great. We haven't used CPH at Fishers and Men in a long time. Normally we use group and I um, decided kind of early on that we would just try CPH this year. After listening to their music, I was, I was confident because sometimes CPH's music isn't the best. Right. Um, it's not the most fun and upbeat, um, but this year I felt like it was, it was much better. Um, so I wanted to kind of take a chance on it. I'm glad we did because they're doing honestly a lot for me. 
Um, and so we will start recording those videos in the beginning of June. Um, myself and our senior pastor and um, one of the ladies on the youth board has actually agreed to um, help me with those. Um, they're, they're very short, um, but I think with all this together, it's going to be great. So um, I'm really excited about that. Um, so it's, it's cph.org. And then I think if you do slash family VBS, it takes you to all of this. Um, so I definitely encourage you to check it out. Even if you're going to use group, at least you can see some of the ways that they're recording it or whatever they're doing and kind of put something together similar for your own. Okay. Any other questions for Kelly? Oh, Audrey signed on. <laughs> Audrey, so did the tornado pass? <laughs> oh gosh. It did. We still have some thunderstorms that they're supposed to sometime tonight bring golf ball size hail. So <laughs> I'm just now hanging out with you guys. Okay. Oh. So so this is this is Audrey. Kristen, you have a you have a question for Kelly. So what grade levels or what ages are you doing for your Bible school? So normally we would do like potty trained three year olds through fifth grade. Okay. Um, we're opening it up to from preschool to fifth. So okay. if, if a sixth grader wants to do it, awesome. We'll give you a student material. I have somebody that registered a nine month old. You know what? They want to do it. <laughs> they want to try and do a nine month old BBS. I want to be there. Um, so we're just opening it up. We said preschool through fifth grade. Okay. If we, if you have more questions uh, at the end, um, that'll be good. Laura, I'm going to turn it over to you. Um, you're going to see that uh, Laura's team has done some of the videos, like what Kelly was talking about. They've, they've taped some of that. So Laura, take it away. Okay. Well, first of all, hello, everyone. I feel like I'm transported to Iowa right now, even though it's 108 here right now. And I am shocked to hear that Kelly in her area that they are still having school. Our kids have been out for um, a little over a week now. So, um, but they also start quite a bit early. I remember in Iowa, we didn't start until after the Iowa State Fair. Um, and here they are, they're already going to town like the second week of August. They are active and, and in school already. Um, so just to kind of um, make a little bit of a transition from CPH, we are doing group. And for those of you who that just is a hard stop, um, continue listening just for a little bit longer because um, at Trinity Lutheran, we rewrite everything. We are very loyal to, to, um, to doctrine and to what the Bible says above all else. And so um, we rewrite everything. We take a look at the openings. We take a look at the skits. We take a look at what our craft people are saying, what our snack people are saying, and we rewrite everything. Um, the areas where group can be dead on, it seems a little shallow sometimes. And so we deepen it. And areas where it's just, whoo, where did that come from? Uh, we just kick it out and we, we write things in its place. Um, so if so now hopefully I've, I've still got you listening. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and show you um, our registration site because it has a lot of the information on it that I'd like to show you guys. So, okay, I've got that pulled up. Let me share my screen. Here we go. Okay, you guys can see everything okay? Yep. Perfect. Okay, so on our um, registration site, um, much like Kelly, it's super wordy because everything this year is so different that we really want to make sure that our parents, our grandparents, um, if it's an older brother or sister who really takes a, takes a hold of the family this time of year because parents are working, but the older brothers and sisters are home with the kids during the summer, um, we really want to make sure that everybody kind of understands what's going on, or at least um, they know what they don't know after reading this and then can ask those questions. So our VBS is the same time that it always is. It is June 8th through the 12th. We always do ours the second week of June. And we are having our people come to pick up their VBS in a box from church each morning. 
the 8th through the 12th or whatever the time frame would have been in years past, parents would have brought their children to church and dropped them off at this exact same time anyway. And if they work, they would have arranged for a grandma or grandpa, a neighbor, a babysitter, whomever, uh, their nannies, whatever their situation might be, they would have arranged for their child to be dropped off. So we did not feel, and you know, time will tell, um, but we did not feel that it was asking too much for them to come every day to the church during these um, five days to pick up these boxes. They're VBS in a box. Um, the reason why that was important to us is because we were hearing a lot of families say, oh, but the fellowship, oh, but seeing each other, oh, but they make such good, all of those comments. We figured this was a way to still encourage that fellowship every day when they pull into the parking lot and it's going to be a moving line and no one's going to park and stop and pull into a parking stall. No one is, is going to be able to come into the building. We have a spot and I'll show a video in a little bit. We have a spot where we'll be standing and all of that to, to hand out the boxes. Um, and so they'll pull in, they'll see, oh, look, it's the Nelsons, it's the Moors, it's, it's the Crouches, it's, oh, cool, oh, I didn't know that the Millers were doing this. You know, and so then they'll pull in, they'll stop where we're handing them the boxes, they'll take their box and then they'll go home. Another element of coming to church every day is that we are gonna have the VBS music blasting. We're gonna have leaders and helpers from years before that a lot of these kids recognize and we're really hoping to see this year. We're gonna have them strategically placed around this track that we're gonna have set up so that they can be singing and dancing, holding signs, balloons, whatever, whatever we can do during that time, just to really, again, amp up the excitement so that a parent doesn't feel like they're doing it alone, even though, ugh, right now we're totally doing things alone. And so hopefully this will this will carry over um, until they get home. Um, like I said, each day they're going to be picking up this box. So what is VBS in a box? If you guys look over here, um, you can see that we have thought of and have provided you with everything you and your crew need to have a chug chug choo choo all aboard for fun um, week in your home station. It's really making sure that they understand this is something we are doing for you at your home station <laughs> because even if you make it perfectly clear that because of the current COVID protocol and all of this and, and, the, and the physical distancing that we need to maintain to a certain extent, they will still assume they get to, oh, oh, it doesn't count at church. Oh, cool, we can still bring our kiddos. Uh, uh, nope, we can't do that. Um, so, so that is what it is. We hit that right away at the top. I'm going to get to what's in the box in a moment, but since we're on this main page, I do want to talk about the fees. We are charging. Trinity has charged. Um, I've been with Trinity for almost five years now. Um, I'm the director of children and youth ministries, and they have always charged for VBS. We are also, just, just for some of you, so that you kind of get a, a grasp of this, um, we are also the only church that charges in our area. Um, I don't know why it works. I don't know how it works but it works. It's, it's always been the way that it is. So what we are doing is we recognize that some of these parents, they might be done teaching these kiddos. And so they just want one box or they, they're going to be gone on Thursday and Friday. So why would I pay for a whole week when I'm really only going to use Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or they've got stuff going on on Tuesday. So we want Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well, in the registration portion, they get to say, I want one for each day. And it's $10 per VBS box per day. Each VBS in a box covers three participants. Let's say they're gonna invite over their cousins or their neighbors and they have now five participants. We have these bonus bags available for additional $5 per bag and that covers two more participants. So then that way, if you get the excuse me, if you get the box and you get the bag, that's going to cover five people. And that is $10 plus $5, $15 per day then for them. Um, and now let's get to what's actually in the box because, wow, Laura, how can this even be cost effective or, or what have you? Well, each VBS in a box contains 
all the scripts, and we're going to get to this in a little more detail, but it contains all the scripts. It contains every single element that you need for the craft. If your craft requires a piece of tape, we are including a piece of tape. If your craft, um, uh, it would it would look a little nicer if um, if it was uh, had a marker to draw a line around something or to connect some dots or or it would look prettier if it was red and purple. One day we are including um, a eight pack of, of Crayola markers and so, washable markers. So we are really wanting to make sure that. A parent doesn't go, oh, well, we can't do today's craft because we don't have whatever is needed. So you will get uh, craft and game supplies. Same thing with the game. We are including everything that is needed minus water. Um, if the craft requires water that day, you get to go to your own tap. Um, but it, we have everything else included. Um, we also, uh, years past and this year too, we don't always love the craft and the game that group uh, suggests. And so we do our own. So we've got, we've got that going on too. Um, and then the bonus bags, um, in a, in a, amongst all of that, the bonus bags, they include enough supplies for those two more participants. So that's going to be more game supplies and more craft supplies, just to make sure that when you invite those two other people over, they also have craft stuff. They also have game stuff. So everything is included in this box or in this bag. Now, the virtual elements of this are going to be the opening videos, the music, all of this, and that is all we are recording all of that. So let's, let's start at um, kind of an overview of what group usually looks like. Group usually has seven elements. They have their opening and their closing. They've got games, snacks, crafts, Bible adventure, and kid vid cinema. We are not doing kid vid cinema. It's always the weakest aspect, and we are not doing um, we are not doing the snack. Um, I don't know about our area or about your area, but our area there are so many allergies and sensitivities that we just weren't even going to touch that with a ten foot pole. So there will be no craft or no snack and no kid vid cinema. So that leaves us with five elements: opening, closing, craft. Bible adventure, which is always everyone's favorite, and then um, and then the game. Those are the elements that stick with it. So I mentioned the craft and the game and the skits. I want to touch that a little bit longer. So with the skits, we um, we look at the skit just like the opening and closing. There might be some things we need to massage a little bit, and we do the same thing with the skit. This year, what we will be including is we will be including two printed versions of the scripts. One is a narrator version. This is something where, let's say you don't have any readers in your home. Well, this is for the mom or the dad or the babysitter or the grandma or the grandpa to narrate while the children act out. And then the second version of the script is for readers, if you have readers in your home. So it's going to allow them to speak the parts back and forth, as well as maybe boss around some younger ones too a little bit and get them involved. And then in, in with these two printed scripts, we're also going to have a videoed version because we totally get that some people, they don't have readers in their home. They don't want to take the time or don't have the time, legitimately don't have the time um, to, to read the script. But we still want God's word to get into these sweet kiddos ears and into their hearts. So if pressing play is the best, most wonderful gift you can give your kid, oh my gosh, press play. So there will be that virtu that uh, digital version of that also. Um, and then one thing, again, just pulling from that previous point of the fellowship of all of us coming together every day to pick up those boxes, every single box, every day of the five days, every day is different. And every day we will have one element that ties in with that skit, with that Bible adventure that everyone will use for their own Bible adventure. So let's pretend for a second that one of the stories um, or one of the Bible adventures that we were gonna go on is Jesus being born in Bethlehem. We would include maybe um, a blue hand towel that they could put on their head and one of them is Mary. 
and all of the kids have a Mary character or all of the kiddos have the same, maybe shepherd's crook, you know, a smaller version or something like that, something that will fit in that box. But we wanted to make sure that they would have that tie in element too. So that when the Millers in their home are doing their Bible adventure with their little blue cloth on the head. Um, so are the Nelsons in their home. And that gets to be kind of one element that ties everybody together again. So we've talked about the game. We've talked about the Bible adventure. We've talked about the correct, excuse me, the craft. And now let's talk about the openings and closings. Um, as all of you know, when you do the openings and closings, it's talking and then you go into a song and then it's talking and you go into the Bible buddy or what have you. Um, and then it's talking and maybe there's a skit and then it's talking a song and then, you know, talking and it's over. Um, we are, we are putting all of this together. It is all packaged together. So you press play one time for the opening and you press play one time for the closing of each day. These are all going to be recorded and put on and available on YouTube um, with the link um, being not private, unlisted. That's what it is. They will be unlisted. So if you get the first box, you will get the list. You will get the, um, the YouTube uh, playlist for all of the days. That's very important to us. You're a family, you can only afford one day. Um, maybe you are uncomfortable with Trinity's policy of money is never gonna be an obstacle. We will find a way, we will find a way. And maybe you're just not familiar with that uh, part of Trinity's um, uh, policies. No problem, you say you can only buy one box. So you as a family, you're good stewards, you buy one box, you're gonna get all the days. You won't get the craft and you won't get the game components, but you will have the opening and the closing and that press play Bible adventure skit. So you'll have that too. Um, so then that takes care of kind of the, um, that all of that teaching stuff. Um, also for you guys who are familiar, and it's been a long time since I've done CPH. So maybe this is the same for CPH. But when you do the craft and the game, there's always that card that attempts to tie in that day's Bible lesson with water bombs. Um, and we are going to be printing up that too. So that's something too that we work on and we massage and we make sure that it brings up the point again. So that the opening, the craft, the Bible adventure, of course, um, the game and the closing, they all bring up the lesson over and over and over again. That, that's really important to us. So that'll be part of it too. Now let's go ahead and I'd love to show you, let me minimize this. I would love to show you an example of what our day two opener looks like. Um, Please have a little grace. This is a rough draft. There will be more elements we'll add on top of, uh, on top of this. Um, and uh, I'd love for you guys to just take a look. I'm gonna jump around a little bit so we just hit certain elements. Am I okay, Miss Moore? Am I okay time-wise, Miss Moore? If we can wrap up, uh, if you can kind of wrap up after you, after you play this, what you, you want bet. to do. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so I'll give you guys kind of an idea of this, of what this looks like. You can see right down here, it says Trinity Lutheran Church and School. I want to say something about that later. Oh, look, they are back. Hi, friends, and welcome back to day two of Rocky Railway. I'm Ms. Laura. And I'm Mr. Dale. And we are four conductors on this adventure. <clears throat> Every day, we're going to help you sing, have fun, and learn how Jesus' power pulls us through. On your feet. And then it goes directly into the song. Um, and then it will cut back out to us. That was an amazing song. At Rocky Railway, we're imagining what it would be like to travel through the mighty, majestic Rocky Mountain. So you guys kind of get a feel for what this looks like. Um, I wanted I wanted to show you this um, because, um, as I mentioned to Miss Moore, um, we at Trinity we want to make all of this just so available to you guys, so 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 available. Like right here at the top, where um, you know that some of us are feeling really overwhelmed by what 
by what this is going to look like this year. But um, so in mentioning this to Miss Moore, I want to make sure that you guys understand that everything that Trinity is doing, you can poke around, you can message me afterwards, whatever, um, that we want to make this available to whoever wants to use it or whatever. And I am so happy to give you all of the native files, which means not like the PDF, the uneditable PDF. No, I'm going to give you all the native files or, or even assist you. This is, praise God, one of those talents that he taught me a thousand years ago that he's allowed me to keep and use here at Trinity. So I will even, I can send you this, this video for you to use in your congregations. We don't mention Trinity until day five um, when we're saying goodbye to, to, um, to, to those kiddos, but we don't, we don't say Trinity otherwise. And this right here is at the start of all of our videos, but that's so easy for me to remove or even put your name and your church's name into. Um, all of our scripts, we're happy to send you every version of the script. Um, we, we're happy to share all of this with you guys because this is tough otherwise. And it's, and it's kind of, um, and it's kind of intimidating and kind of, and it's kind of scary. And um, we were not given a spirit of fear. We were given a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. And so guys, if we can help you with this, I would love to do that. So there's so much more that I could talk about. I'm super um, into this right now. We start in a week and a half. And so I'm super into this. Um, but if there is time, do you have any questions or are we... Yeah, we does anybody I Laura, first of all, that's really super that you're willing to share any of your material. So obviously they recorded and have organized all that already because you're just uh two weeks away. Um so I do any of you want to raise your hand if you have a question for Laura? Laura, what's your back? ground before you started working at the church. Okay. Wow. That's detailed. Um, no, I would say before that, uh, just to pin it all down, um, graphic design, e-commerce, um, print work, um, man, all this kind of stuff and everything guys, everything I learned on the job, including this, <laughs> including everything was learned on the job. God is so good at teaching people. He is so good at it. So um, yeah, that, that's what I did beforehand. Editing yeah. videos, websites, so that's, social networking, all of that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's right up in her wheelhouse. So, uh, you know, she's, Use me. <laughs> yeah, she's using those gifts and she wants to share them. So any questions for her on uh, Rocky Railway? Anybody planning on using group? I know there's a few people in the district that use group. Audrey is. Uh, everyone else is pretty much CPH. Uh, and I can't see the people that aren't, don't have their faces on, but um, it, Steph, you guys usually use group in Denison. We have used group in the past. This year, we're well. We're doing an old one. I think Roar. That's a CPH one. Oh like, yeah, yeah. We're doing that one this year. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, Laura will share her information. So if any of you want to reach out to her and talk to her personally, um, you know we got a lot of summer left, and there. Um, she'll be able to even share how that works out for them with the way they're doing it. Um, Absolutely. And just to jump in real quick, Miss Moore, um, with the, even with the components of what we're putting inside the box, I mean, I just have like the list of everything that's going in there, where we're getting it from, how much it cost us. Um, I mean, I can even direct you, direct you to the source. Um, okay. if, if we weren't almost done ordering, I'd say, what, how many do you need? We'll throw it on our order <laughs> because really, we, we really want to help make this easy. When we first started looking at this, I'm sure Kelly and Audrey can say the same. When you first start looking at this, you're like, what, what is happening? And so, um, now that we've gotten to this point in it oh my goodness please look sorry over. that's <laughs> that's me <laughs> <laughs> okay so <clears throat> i think and audrey is they're using uh the the group material also but mm -hmm. i think they have just a little bit different you're you're doing yours a little bit different so if we could hear from you audrey 
Sure. Um, so I don't have a fancy PowerPoint uh, like Laura did. And uh, Laura, a fabulous personality. I love it. Um, and you can tell just by uh, the stuff that she has that that is her background, the, the media editing stuff. So um, we are, there's a lot of similarities that we're doing that Laura's doing. Um, some of it is like, I loved how she prefaced at the very beginning to say, we do take a look at the group stuff and we've been using it for years and years and we uh, rewrite it. Um, so we're writers and that's a gift that God has given to us. So, um, so we love to look at it and say, there's some creative elements that works with our church. Um, but there's some things that we look and go, all right, we're going to change this so that it really fits um, uh, the way that we want it to. So we uh, re rewrite a lot of the stuff. And then there's some things like, uh, like if you've ever used groups sometimes. So I have looked at group, we do, we have a huge VBS and they do cater towards bigger, larger VBSs. Uh, but there's sometimes they do some uh, ridiculous ideas um, that I'm like, oh my stars with 550 kids, there's no way that we could buy, you know, whatever. And so we've redone like snacks and, um, and easier uh, recreation things and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the five different elements we're doing too, um, maybe I should rewind and say, um, we're having uh, families uh, register and we're actually not setting a date for it. We would have been June 8th to the 12th. Um, we had said, sorry, my cat uh, just uh, invited himself in. Um, we uh, actually said we're going to have everything available by mid-June, along with the links that are going through our YouTube um, channel uh, where they can link on all summer long. And so we have um, put out uh, basically commercial to our congregation um, and then uh, uh, communication pieces, things like that to say, um, you can choose different ways to do this. You can um, use it all summer long, say on a Sunday afternoon with your family, like as a family devotion. Um, you can take the week, the June 8th through the 12th. Well, actually, it's not going to be ready until June 15th. So um, after that, you can take... Um, uh, a week and just say, we're going to take this on as a family that whole week, or um, you can use it in different ways, uh, whatever that looks like. Uh, we've also said you can um, invite neighbor kids to be a part of that. So people are registering with family name, not necessarily ages, um, family name and how many kids. So um, like Kelly had said, I mean, they might have a nine month year old. We don't know that. We're just saying, if you register three kids, we're putting in our VBS in a box. So we have the same kind of language. Um, we are putting in three kids things um, of what they're doing. So we're doing the opening and the closing, just like Laura. We're also doing Imagination Station, which is the crafty kind of thing. Um, we have, you know, they have like little gadgety, guru-y kind of things that we had actually ordered way back. And we're like, well, we've got them in a room. We might as well put them in the boxes. Um, and then uh, we're uh, offering some suggestions for um, snack. So some of the things that so in our script, daily script, we'll say, here's some options that you have. Um, here's what group says. Here's a fun little, you can make your rail. I think they were, they did like Rice Krispie bars and um, uh, licorice sticks for a railroad track. Well, not everybody has that at home. And so uh, we also decided that we were going to say, if you don't have any of these things for snacks, what do you have in your home that might look like railroad tracks um, that would be snack? Make it up, take a picture of it, and hashtag um, uh, COVID VBS 2020, just for fun, to see some of the creativity that um, families do. Um, or if you think of something that matches the story, and you have a snack in your home that say, hey, we put together a, you know, a Lego village that we, uh, mapped out the story, and we added M&Ms into the, uh, we don't care, you know, just to, to kind of get their creative um, heads going. We're doing the, the Bible piece to it. Um, uh, uh, I love the idea of offering different things like the Mary head piece and stuff like that. That's clever. And I'm going to like tell my team that um, because we were just going to offer like some ideas. Hey, go grab yourself a, a scarf and, you know, make a head piece or whatever um, to it. Um, but the, the easier we can make it for families and neighborhood people, the, the better. Um, we don't charge at Redeemer. The churches I've been a part of before, we did charge, um, and some of that was um, I had come from congregations that they were a little bit more affluent, and if 
uh, there was something about if you charged, it gave a validity to the VBS. I know that sounds weird, but that was just sort of the culture of the people. Um, this uh, VBS or this uh, church, and I've been here two and a half years, they don't charge, but they ask for a donation. Um, and we almost always get it. So we'll say, here's what the approximate cost of per child. Um, if you want to make a donation, please feel free to do that. And so, um, so we get that. And there's so many members who um, pitch in. Um, we figured we would get, so we get about 500, 600 kids um, for VBS usually. Um, but with the family element, we figured there might be maybe 50 families that sign up um, because they're so tired of Zoom and, um, and all that. Um, and then maybe it might pick up a little more as summer progresses. Um, but we already have, and we've had our registration up for two weeks. We waited till um, school was almost over. So our school also got done last week. And, the, um, the, and our school is directly connected to our church. Um, and they said, please don't put out tons and tons of video because we need our families to stay focused on the classroom stuff. And so we were like, absolutely team ministry that way. Um, so we just started putting out big advertisements two weeks ago and then um, the registration two weeks ago. And we have 120 families. Um, and so like crazy, right? And they're all over the city. Um, I know, like, praise God. And so um, some of the cool things about that is we're having grandmas and grandpas um, saying, you know what, we have grandkids all summer now. And so we want to do this one because it gives us an idea to keep us busy. <laughs> um, but it also, um, we'd love to do that. And then we've had, um, you know, you always get junior high and high school kids who help, um, which is, that's a missing link, except for we're figuring out little fun uh, service projects for them to do um, throughout the summer. Uh, um, but there's a group of junior high kids that had signed up to do um, a, an art camp here in the city, and it was canceled. And so they all decided, they all live in a similar neighborhood, they're going to host Vacation Bible School in one of their yards. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So, um, so we have that uh, going on and we're putting, we're not going to do the daily thing like Laura does. We're going to put just a box, BBS in a box and you get the whole week. And however you decide to use that, um, you can, if you got a box and you only were able to use one day and you have all these extra elements, we've encouraged them, pass it on to somebody else um, and uh, share with them uh, the links. You know, even if it's a neighbor who said, boy, you know, we don't, we're not connected to a church. Well, here, we don't have time to do this. We thought we did. Here's a box. Here's the links, you know, knock yourself out, um, uh, whatever that is. So, and then our VBS team, which consists of, so we have three professional DCEs on staff and then several lay people. Um, we all are looking to say, how can we go and visit some of those throughout the city. Um, like the junior high kids, we already said, we're gonna bring on that Friday, we're gonna bring the Kona ice truck there. And our team's gonna, if you're gonna do it, we'll, we'll be there to support you. And they're so geeked out about it. Now, I don't know how it will look, but it's just the heart of it uh, in the first place. And you know, Jesus, his words will not fall to the ground, um, no, matter, no matter what is uh, proclaimed. So. Um, so we're still in the real early stages. Um, we have a schedule in the next two weeks of pretty much every day doing video uh, clips of all the different links. And so we will have a script for day one and say, press on this link, link day one um, story, link day one craft, link day one um, snack craft or uh, recreation ideas, that kind of stuff where people can just go. Um, and they might even look and say, boy, we cannot keep our kids' attention this long. We're just going to go to the story and we're going to do a snack and that's all we can handle. Um, and that's okay. And so our theme is going to be sit in grace <laughs> throughout this whole thing. And then um, and we're just so excited that it, it's all clearly all over the city. Um, that um, And that's really Vacation Bible School, isn't it? That's exactly our, our purpose. So um, th that was a quick um, sweeping dream vision piece for you. Any Thanks, questions Audrey. for my <laughs> Yeah. Any questions for Audrey? I think we've heard three great presentations on how they're how they're going to be sharing the Bible stories and the gospel. So uh, raise your hand, or uh, those of you that I can't see you, uh, just unmute your mic and say, "I have a question." <laughs> You know, I will say, like Laura, I, I am so willing to share 
um, share anything that we have. Cause we actually don't, we don't use the name redeemer in um, a lot of our scripts and things like that, but my goodness, I, absolutely. God has given us great gifts and a, a team um, that's big. And so uh, we might as well help the greater uh, kingdom out there. So if you need any of our stuff, we'd be glad to share that as well. It's awesome. Okay. My, or Jill, do you have a question? I, your mute's not on, but I don't hear you. Um, I hope that that tonight, hearing these presentations, that you've been encouraged to uh, realize you can do something, you know, and it yeah. can be tailored uh, to your congregation. That's what you've done in the past, but what does tailored look like in this? time of social distancing. And um, I think, you know, VBS has always been a favorite time of mine when I was in the parish. And um, it was one of my, like, it was always one of my mountaintop weeks. It was that confirmation and the start, the rally day, getting everything started back up in the fall. Those were my three favorite times in the parish. The thing about VBS is it's an opportunity to share the gospel, not just with children from your own church, but children of the community. So, um, you know, when you get something up and going, spread the word to your whole community, because there's a lot of people looking for Jesus during this crazy time, and you have that to offer. And with both curriculums that we've talked about tonight, there's always the anchor points that they walk away with from each day. The, that, that anchor point that gets repeated over and over, um, whether it's God's promises are always true or whatever they may be. And I don't know for either one, I haven't looked at them what they are. Uh, Laura, what's one of the phrases from, from Rocky R Railroad? Yeah, so the thing that we repeat over and over and over again is trust Jesus. Like you're pulling down on that whistle. So uh -huh. it's trust Jesus. God's power or Jesus's power gives us hope trust Jesus. Yeah. And over and over and over again, the children will be saying, trust Jesus, trust Jesus. And right now when everyone's putting their trust in one thing or another, for better or worse, they will have in their mind, trust Jesus. And I'll tell you, that's gotten me through some stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I know CPH does the same thing, you know, where they mm -hmm. have the phrases that are repeated over over and over and uh boy do we need to hear those messages especially during these challenging times i Any would encourage go ahead i was i was gonna say i would encourage people um like if this is so even just listening to us talk about the stuff that we have um and you're absolutely overwhelmed by it don't be um and even if it's just one story you take and say this summer we're just going to take on one story and we're going to get it out to our kids in our neighborhoods or whatever that looks like. Um, well, to God be the glory um, and know that um, uh, God has called you in your, in where, where you serve right now um, to uh, share to your kids in your town or villages or wherever you're at. Um, and it may look completely different than uh, Laura or I or Kelly's and, um, and that's okay. Um, it's not, not looking and going, wow, they do as much as to say, what is God calling us to do right now? Thank you for that, Audrey. That's, that's so, that's a powerful statement because we can, we can get caught up, uh, mm -hmm. comparing ourselves to each other's, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right. And, um, it's simply, how are we getting God's word out? And, um, these are three different ways that you guys have, have presented mm -hmm. and, um, I can, um, if you would like the email addresses of these three ladies that presented tonight, um, email me, um, <clears throat> and that's just Rhonda at iowadistrictwest.org, and I will send you their email addresses, okay? 
Well, I just want to stay true to time and we're uh, already past. So, <laughs> um, but it's an hour and 15 minutes and that's kind of what I said. So that's where we're at. Um, Deanne, did you, did you have any, um, oh, Joy's writing. Thank you for all the wonderful ideas. Thanks, Joy. <laughs> the chat box is a good place to that. Deanne, any closing remarks from you? Yeah, no, I, I really don't. Um, three powerful presentations. And so my encouragement for all of, all of us is just be blessed, just like what Audrey just said. Um, be blessed in what you are about to do. Um, normally, in this season, we are in the throes of VBS, and we are, you know, up to our up to our armpits in everything VBS and, and know that it's easy right now to say, maybe we won't. And that's okay. Um, however, God is calling you to do it. Um, uh, his word will not return empty. And so, um, yes, yeah, enjoy the journey. One, one last thing I want to leave you with is, uh, you know, there are, a lot of, there are a lot of people over the age of 60 that also help with VBS. And that's one of the reasons some people have decided not to have it because they would be putting at risk their volunteers. I wanna encourage everybody to put a prayer team together for your church. Those people can be powerful prayer warriors and give them a list of things to be praying about. Pray for every family that's gonna be receiving uh, VBS in a box or whatever you're going to do. Um, pray that the, that people in the community would hear the gospel that haven't heard the gospel before. Um, pray that families are encouraged, whatever, put a list together for them, but put a prayer team together. Um, some people might feel like I can't, I can't do anything for VBS this year. Yes, you can. You can be in prayer. And a lot of elderly people who feel even like if you were still having it at your uh, church. So like next year, God willing, everybody will be back to the normal schedule. Maybe we won't. But you can use those people to, <laughs> don't say that, right, Laura? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to be back. We're going to be back to school in the fall. I believe it. <laughs> um, but anyway, use, use those people to be on a prayer team. I think we way underestimate the power of prayer and, and giving people an opportunity that way. So with that being said, okay, we got a few comments. Uh, thank you, ladies. Also, thanks for letting this Nebraskan join you. Yeah, we, we, it's okay, Deb. We like Nebraska people. Um, <laughs> uh, Kelly, you have to somehow get to Iowa sometime because Audrey has Iowa connections and so does Laura. So <laughs> I'll put it on my list. <laughs> Your dad's never been a pastor in Iowa, has he? That's true. He is not. He's okay. not. Florida so, and Louisiana, uh, but no Iowa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it's really been great. I just want to personally thank Laura, Audrey, and Kelly for their time tonight and for, for sharing. And uh, yeah. Uh, I see, I see uh, Kathy's up there clapping. Um, so, and Laura's got a much respect, but always more love friends, First John. So they all mean mm -hmm. it when they say they'll share their, share their resources. So let me know yeah. if you want their email address. And by the way, I'll be, once this gets uploaded or downloaded from the cloud or wherever this goes, this recording goes, um, it's going to be available to share. So if you want to rewatch it, if you've got other people on your team, your board of education that you want to show it to, you know, you can fast forward through the different parts of it. Uh, if you want to re-listen, um, and then of course you'll have the contact information. So, um, I'm going to close this out with a prayer since I was talking about the importance of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you uh, for these three ladies sharing uh, what they're doing at their churches. Lord, uh, I want to ask for a special blessing upon all of the VBSs that will be taking place in a different way. We pray that the gospel is proclaimed boldly and loudly. 
and that your Holy Spirit would be at work in the homes of many, many people. And we pray, Lord, for people that don't know you to have the opportunity through VBSs, VBS programs, to, to hear of your name. Um, Lord, as, as each of these people that have been a part of listening, think about what's going to be happening at their congregations and with their people. I pray that you would just be in the details and give them wisdom and direction and um, energy and guidance uh, so that they can see what works where they are. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for this incredible opportunity to share your gospel with children and families in our communities. Be with us now. Uh, bless our evening of rest. Help us wake up tomorrow morning refreshed, ready to serve you another day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Amen. God bless.